Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Happy to uh, introduce to you a new product. Um, this is the DHAP Mini Mega. Some of you may be familiar with the uh, with the original DHAP. The DHAP is a digital ham access point. Um, it works with the D-Star radio network. Um, if you're interested in this, you are probably already versed in that technology. No need to go over it. Um, what we've done here is taken the same functionality as the original DHAP. And when I say original, I mean either the R1 or the R2. There's a bunch of them out there. Um, and uh, we've dramatically uh, scaled the size of the device down, managed to give it more onboard power, and uh, uh, really just a, a list of improvements that we're pretty excited about. Um, the first thing you may notice, if you look closely, this housing is not injection molded. Um, it is 3D printed, which is uh, exciting technology. And... Uh, as a guy with a, uh, an injection molding background, it's pretty exciting for me to have the, the flexibility provided by 3D printers. But in any event, it's a, a high impact ABS. It's a tough material. Um, if you look closely, you'll notice a grain associated with that printing and small imperfections, especially when you get into overhangs, um, areas where the, the printer is struggling to kind of print air for a moment. But in any event, this is the DHAP Mini Mega. This thing is four inches by four inches by two. And believe it or not, with four batteries installed, it weighs 14 ounces. Now, fundamental difference with this DHAP versus the original is that this first offering does not use the DVAP. It uses the Mini Mega, or I'm sorry, the DV Mega um, out of the UK. Great little uh, 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 access point device. So if you look here, you'll see that we've got a, uh, a Raspberry Pi, in this case it's a B+, the DV Mega board. All of the connections for the Pi are now directly accessed. The antenna is still remoted. We do have the voltmeter. We've got an on-off switch that's recessed so it won't get bumped. Some generous bumpers, keep it from sliding around on your dash or whatever, and also help some with airflow. Um, the uh, the four batteries are 18650s. They reside in this tray. An interesting note about the way the battery bank is set up is that if you uh, if you install two, not four, batteries in either this bank or this bank, the system operates. Um, and that's because it's wired uh, series, series, parallel. Uh, that means that if you run just two batteries, the system will run exactly as if it ran, as if you were running four batteries. It just wouldn't run as long. So kind of nice. If all you have is two batteries, um, or if you don't need a whole lot of runtime, well, then just uh, just run two. Throw four batteries in there, and obviously you've doubled your runtime. Um, uh, an important note about batteries, the 18650s, Definitely amazing tech, right? I mean, the lithium-ion uh, uh, chemistry in those batteries is unique to those batteries. Very impressive. Um, and uh, uh, there, there are uh, some different flavors. Um, and because of that, slightly different sizes. So I would ask you to, uh, to be aware, if, if you buy the high dollar uh, 18650s with a lot of uh, protection, meaning all three protection modes, you might find that the battery is a little too long to fit in the case. On our website, we mentioned a couple batteries that work just fine. Um, and uh, uh, this one obviously has been populated. This is the way the, the device would work or would look after you bought it. Put your Pi, your DV, Mega, and your batteries in it. Let me show you an example. Now, obviously, that previous version happened to be yellow. This one is black. Those are the two colors that we're offering, um, black and yellow. You'll find them both on our site at the same price. Um, but in any event, you get this from us. You take your pie, and it is extremely straightforward. You know, you're going to literally just plug the power lead in drop the Pi into the case the, D, the new DHAP comes with this which is a, a, a bridge that we print that's designed to securely carry the DV Mega and the screws and the little Allen wrench that you need and uh, you put the bridge in place shoot a couple of screws plug the D the the DV Mega into the system shoot a couple more screws to secure it to the bridge 
screw the antenna onto the SMA that's on the DV Mega, load a couple of batteries in it, or four, and uh, and then set up your, your configuration, obviously, for your call and your frequency and so forth. Um, and uh, you've got a, uh, a remarkable little device that, uh, and, and this will actually fit, for example, in the cargo pocket of a pair of pants. It is that small. Um, we're pretty excited about it. There's uh, uh, some neat stuff. Uh, Gigaparts is carrying this device and they're carrying bundles as well. Um, here at Harden Power Systems, the only thing we're offering on our website um, uh, as of June uh, 2015 is the what you might call the bare bones system. What, uh, what you see here without the Pi and without the DV Mega and no batteries it's just exactly this and the bridge and the screws um, but very reasonably priced uh, uh, the the main thing we were able to accomplish that's significantly different is that the uh, is that this new design uh, it does take a long time to print more than I'd like to admit um, it takes a number of hours to make these uh, these parts on the printers but uh, it builds much faster on the bench. So it helps us uh, push the, the price point down. And you'll see that if you go to our website or go, go to Gigaparts and see the cost of this stuff. Um, I think there's gonna be a lot of people pretty excited about, uh, about the, the entry price point. In any event, that is the new DHAP Mini Mega. Uh, keep your eye on this channel or Facebook or, or Twitter because we're right now in the middle of uh, of developing uh, uh, an almost identical device. It's going to look basically the same. It's going to be a little bit bigger, but it will be the, the new DHAP Mini that uses the DVAP. Um, so uh, whichever type of D-Star device you want to use or already have, whether that's a DV Mega or a DVAP, will be able to meet your needs. Um, so please go to portableuniversalpower.com. Check us out on Facebook or, or Twitter. Um, and uh, folks, I appreciate your time. We're excited about this. Um, we are uh, surprisingly so far uh, uh, ahead of the curve a little bit on production. Unlike the original DHAP, because it took so long to build, um, we are really trying to hold the line and keep these things in stock. Uh, and as of now, uh, early June, we do have them in stock, or at least we're we're pacing orders. So in any event, go to portableuniversalpower.com. This is Bill Harrison. Thanks for your time, folks. We'll talk to you.